DB Power uh, projector. And it comes in a, a little box like this with a handle. Um, I was a little bit worried because it's dented and this is a higher priced item. So I didn't want to have to have any problems and have to return it and whatnot. Um, but when I opened up the box, and I'll just move the box aside so I can show you. When I opened up the box, I noticed that it does come very well protected. It came in this very nice and thick little box inside. And so it was very, very well protected. Here's where the wires and the control was, and here is where the actual projector was. I am going to show you now take a look at everything that comes with it. Um, it of course brings the little foot stand so that you can adjust the height of your projector. It comes with HDMI cables. Let me pull these off so you can see them. There you go. HDMI cables. Um, of course, the power source, and this end is what goes plugged into the projector, and it goes into a regular outlet. And your audio visual cable. That is it for wires. Um, it does bring the control. Now the control does run on two AA batteries that you place back here. It does not come with batteries, but I mean, come on nowadays, what comes with batteries, right? So um, you can use, you know, just any AA batteries that you prefer. And the control itself is very nice and slim, which I love. Um, as you can see, the way it's shaped, makes it very easy to hold. And I really, really like that. It's very lightweight, even with the batteries inside, because I did place batteries in there. So even with the batteries, it's very, very lightweight. And this is the projector itself. So it does have this to protect it. And these are your knobs for focus and keystone. These are the little buttons. So it has the OK button, up, down, left, right, the power button, the enter button. I don't know if you can really tell the buttons. There you go. Now you can really tell the images on the buttons there. So you have your OK button, your return key, your menu key, your power button, which is this one up here, your input source button, getting out of focus there, your input source button, which is here. Up here is your indicator light. Okay. And then, of course, like I said, it, it has uh, up, down, left, left, and right. Back here, as you can tell, the buttons are raised, but very minimally. Um, and then back here is where your VGA connector is and your little infrared sensor. Now this is on the back. This is what would be facing whoever is operating the projector, okay? Then on the side is your power source connection. On the front, and you're probably wondering what this is, this is actually holding on to the lens cap which is awesome because then there's no chance of 
losing it and your lens cap is um, important for obviously protection of the lens but also um, it protects your lens against dust okay so let's take open this up and take a look there you go and see and then that way you know if you have it on a little stool or you know table wherever you decide you have it you can have this hanging either sit next to it or hanging off it and it's not going to go anywhere because it's attached to it so it's awesome um you have of course your lens which you can see me in there hi <laughs> but you can um that is what your lens that's where your lens is and of course it's got the db power logo and another um, infrared control sensor here okay on this side of it <clears throat> so on this side of it you have your connection for headsets your connection for your AV cables so you got headsets AV cable a USB port you have right next to the USB port you have your out USB out port which is um, you know like you can um, connect it to a mobile device that way and of course you have your HDMI connection as well as um, an SD card slot. So it does not come with an SD card, but many of us have those lying around. If not, they're, you know, they're fairly inexpensive depending on um, the brands that you get. But it's nice to know that this projector has that capability. All right, so let's take a look at the underside here. Um, and... Under here, you'll see mainly this little hole here, and that is where your adjuster knob will be placed. So you basically just place it, and then you can screw it in, and that's how you can... Um, decide how at what degree at what angle you are going to have your projector sit at all right now for the control itself we have obviously your power button then you have your input source your menu button the OK key and again it moves left right up and down you have your return key right here your volume down button volume up button and your mute button it has everything that you need in a very simple simplified format so this is great Now, to install your projector, you can choose um, this projector. You can either, you know, do it horizontal placement, which is, you know, like I was telling you on a little table or whatnot. Or you can actually even do um, the hanging hanging bracket installation. Um, you, of course, would have to get your hanging bracket separately. Um, but it's great to know that you could also do it that way. Okay, guys, and there you have it. This is the DB Power projector, and we have tested it out, and it works beautifully. It's very easy to set up, very easy um, to focus when it's out of focus, um, to change your 
aspect ratio. Um, it's very easy to change your screen size. And this is a very neat little uh, lightweight projector. And I think that it'll bring us many, many fun movie nights.